The First Battle of Ypres French, Premier Battle des Flanders German. Erst Flandernschlacht, 19 October 22 November 1914 was a battle of the First World War, fought on the Western Front around Ypres in West Flanders, Belgium. The battle was part of the First Battle of Flanders, in which German, French, Belgian armies and the British Expeditionary Force be fought from Arras in France to Neoport Newport on the Belgian coast from 10 October to mid-November. The battles at Ypres began at the end of the race to the sea, reciprocal attempts by the German and Franco-British armies to advance past the northern flank of their opponents. North of Ypres, the fighting continued in the Battle of the Usser 1631 October between the German Fourth Army, the Belgian Army and French Marines. The fighting has been divided into five stages, an encounter battle from 19 to 21 October, the Battle of Langemark from 21 to 24 October, the battles at La Basse and Armentieres to 2 November, coincident with more Allied attacks at Ypres, and the Battle of Gellivelt 29-31 October, a fourth phase with the last big German offensive, which culminated at the Battle of Nanni Bastion on 11 November, then local operations which faded out in late November. Brigadier General James Edmonds, the British official historian, wrote in the history of the Great War that the Roman II Corps battle at La Basse could be taken as separate, but that the battles from Armentieres to Messines and Ypres were better understood as one battle in two parts, an offensive by Roman III Corps and the Cavalry Corps from 12 to 18 October against which the Germans retired, and an offensive by the German Sixth Army and Fourth Army from 19 October to 2 November, which from 30 October took place mainly north of the Lies, when the battles of Armentieres and Messines merged with the battles of Ypres. A. Attacks by the Biff Field Marshal Sir John French the Belgians and the French Eighth Army in Belgium made little progress beyond Ypres. The German Fourth and Sixth Armies took small amounts of ground, at great cost to both sides, during the Battle of the Usser and further south at Ypres. General Erich von Falkenhayn, head of the Oberst Hirisladem Ole, the German general staff, then tried a limited offensive to capture Ypres and Mont Kemmel Kemmelberg from 19 October to 22 November. Neither side had moved forces to Flanders fast enough to obtain a decisive victory, and by November both sides were exhausted. The armies were short of ammunition, suffering from low morale, and some infantry units refused orders. The autumn battles in Flanders had become static, attrition operations, unlike the battles of maneuver in the summer. French, British and Belgian troops, in improvised field defenses, repulsed German attacks for four weeks. From 21 to 23 October, German reservists had made mass attacks at Langemark Langemark, with losses of up to 70 percent, to little effect. Warfare between mass armies, equipped with the weapons of the Industrial Revolution and its later developments, proved to be indecisive because field fortifications neutralized many classes of offensive weapon. The defensive firepower of artillery and machine guns dominated the battlefield and the ability of the armies to supply themselves and replace casualties prolonged battles for weeks. 34 German divisions fought in the Flanders battles against 12 French, 9 British and 6 Belgian divisions, along with Marines and dismounted cavalry. Over the winter, Falkenhayn reconsidered Germany's strategy because Vernichtungstrategie and the imposition of a dictated peace on France and Russia had exceeded German resources. Falkenhayn devised a new strategy to detach either Russia or France from the Allied coalition through diplomacy as well as military action. A strategy of attrition Ermatungstrategy would make the cost of the war too great for the Allies until one dropped out and made a separate peace. The remaining belligerents would have to negotiate or face the Germans concentrated on the remaining front, which would be sufficient for Germany to inflict a decisive defeat. 